Some said that it was an act of God. Others said that it was an act of her enemy. At this very place, twins built from concrete, steel, and glass once stood, kissing the sky with their crowns in the clouds, looming over a river, long since a dry and parched bed. In this place we once called New York City, and New Amsterdam before that. After they fell, and after the rubble settled, after we counted our dead, we exacted our pain with more death. It was beyond our comprehension, this capacity for our horror. We kept no record of it. We kept storming until we reached our future present. All that exists to explain our march into madness and death is this. The state-sanctioned reel of that sunny Tuesday morning when two angry birds flew headfirst into our greatest ambitions and forever changed us. Now, we have nothing left to bomb. We are the bombed, but no lands to inhabit and living amidst the ruins of time and space. They say one day we'll breathe free again. They say that the earth will return to itself. That this mask, this appendage, the reason we have survived for the last 300 years will be relics of another age. Progress will be slow. I see this earth returning to itself here much in the way that we are returning to ourselves, our higher selves. We have known war, but didn't know peace until we quench our thirst for war and blood. We have no use for myths and legends of what we once were. What purpose do they serve now? Of what use are heroes and villains, saints and sinners? There are no gods left to curse or praise. But I have seen beauty here in the nebulous spirit of life. <laughs>